The Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a Fan Bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. It is telling your story so that it gets heard, understood, and remembered sometimes feel like Mission Impossible. And Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR can help. Jerry's here on the Experience Pros radio show at this time every week with a tip to help us all tell our story. Welcome back, Jerry. Well, thank you. And actually, I have a bonus tip this week in addition to my regular tip. The bonus tip is that right now it's a limited time offer, I think, I hope, that there's free parking on southbound I-25 between about downtown and Oh. Somewhere ahead of wherever it is I am. Oh, Are you no. parked on the or in the park or on the highway? Oh, well, I am. Actually, that's not true. It's sort of the opposite of NASCAR. It's like zero to ten. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you get around to it. Oh. Yeah. Well, but the real tip for this week is um, one of the ways to improve your uh, writing is to listen to what you've written, and if it sounds like writing, then rewrite it. Well, if it sounds like writing. Then rewrite it. What should it sound like, Jerry? It should be conversational. You know, many of us, when we are writing, we get really formal and we do all this one says and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And we forget about contractions, which we use when we're talking. But if you want to, um, you know, now there are kinds of writings where you need to be more formal. If you're writing a legal brief or a term paper or things like that, you need to follow the rules. But uh, whoever, you know, rules you've got to follow. But for most of us, we're writing for business, and we're trying to persuade people to buy something or believe something. And in that case, you know, you want to be conversational. Mm. Uh, you, you know, we learn, most of us, all of us, I think, uh, pretty much learn how to, we start talking before we start walking or before we're out of diapers. And we've been talking all over our lives. We have conversations every day. And so... The basic form of communication for humans pretty much everywhere is conversation. And we're used to we're used to communicating that way. And so I really encourage you when you're um, writing to be conversational. Talk on paper. You know, that is that is excellent advice. And Charlie, our producer, is actually nodding his head. You know, it's the same thing when you're writing commercials and advertising, you know, those contractions and how you talk and how you write. Um, Jerry, why is it so so different? Why do we write so formally versus the way we talk? Because we were taught in school that we had to do that. You know, we were taught in school, for example, that you can't refer to your reader as you, and you can't refer to yourself as I, right. and you can't use contractions uh, in many situations. And, and I before like that. E, so except after C. I'm sorry, what? And, and I before E, except after C, except in the case of Y. That's all I know. Oh, now, yeah. now he's trying to give us grammar. Grammar. Just yeah, really. But we learned all of these. You know, I have a son who, who is a very good graphic artist, and he once told me he was painting an image of something, and and, he, and had it was a room, and he said, you know, he said I'm actually drawing this incorrectly because if I do it exactly the way it would really be, it would look wrong, and so he was intentionally drawing it in a way that wasn't physically correct if you were to look at the room, but he said that's because it looks right. Well, the same thing works with your writing. Um, if, if it's, it, sometimes you have to break the rules of grammar because it sounds better to say it a different way. And so that's really what I encourage you to do. It will really improve your writing. All right. So, yeah, so we're not here to impress our English teacher. We're here to impress our, our reader. Is that right? Well, and, and for most of us, when we're talking about business writing, we're, we're here to impress customers and prospective customers. Got it. And we don't want them to think about, oh, well, he uses whom a lot, and uh, he never splits an infinitive. We want them to think about what our message is. We want them to buy what we're selling or believe whatever it is we want them to believe. Um, and, and actually, the, the, whole, the quote about if it sounds like writing, rewrite it comes from a guy by the name of... Elmore, uh, yeah, Elmore Leonard. It sounds like he's got his name backwards. Who's a very good writer. He's written a lot of screenplays. He wrote, uh, if you saw the movie Get Shorty, that's oh, yeah. based on one of his novels. And the movie 310 to Yuma is based on one of his short stories. He's written a lot of stuff. He's a very good writer. One of his other quotes is that he tries to skip the things that people ignore, or he tries to leave out the things that people skip, I guess. Well, what, what, what do people skip? Well, you know, typically they skip things that are either too long, 
or too predictable or too boring. You just described and my entire dating life. <laughs> too long, well, too predictable, too boring. Well, then maybe you want to skip that part and move ahead to the more interesting ones. Well, skip, a, skip ahead and check out the blog that Jerry Brown writes every week on jerrybrownpr.com. You can always find an archive of all of his storytelling tips on his website at jerrybrownpr.com. So, uh, Jerry, you, you still in that free parking lot, or are you moving along yet? Well, I'm sort of inching along here, zero to ten. <laughs> <laughs> well, whenever you get around to it. Well, I'll tell you what, the late journalist the screen... NASCAR freeway today. <laughs> there you go. The late journalist, screenwriter, and Denver native Gene Fowler once said that writing is easy. All you do is sit staring at a blank sheet of paper until drops of blood form on your forehead. Keep your forehead dry and hire Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR. He'll help you write your blog posts, social media postings, articles, press releases, PowerPoint presentations, and more. Jerry can also help you edit what you've already written. Jerry Brown at jerrybrownpr.com. Once again, you can reach Jerry at jerry at jerrybrownpr.com or by phone. Phone 303-594-8016, 303-594-8016. I love that. I know Jerry always gives some really fun tips, and it's it's you know you know he's so good at what he does when he says I've got a bonus tip for you. Yeah, absolutely. Free parking. You know that's not you know it's not like a traffic announcement. It's better. It's it's a bonus tip. Right. Free parking on the <laughs> highway. Yeah, you can spin any story. And that's what you're looking for when you are writing. You want to make sure that you grab people's attention and that you keep it. Absolutely. Absolutely.